Welcome back to Diamond Mama. As always, this is Ashley, and obviously it's a weekend, so it's a product review. And I have my binder out, which means I finally got a painting with a paper. I swear, like every single painting that I was getting was coming with a paper and I was filling this book up so fast and then I was like, yay, I only got like five more and then I was like, yay, I only got like three more and then I was like, check this out, I only have two more and then I have to buy more sleeves. I've literally been at two more for like a month. So I was going to get some more the other day because I seen them at Dollar Tree but I was like nah because I wasn't getting any papers um but then I got one the other day and I'm actually waiting on one from Heartful Diamonds and they come with papers as well at least I think I know the last one that I got from them um, had a paper with it, but they changed everything since then. Um, before, when I was got one, they were um, coloring with diamonds. It was the uh, Cinderella. What's it called? Cinderella's Rainbow Road. Um, it was originally sent for a product review, but they got a hold of me and was like, wait, before you do that, we're redoing everything, so hold off. So that's why that one did not have a product review. It was awesome though. And I have a new painting that is on its way from them, which literally should be here this week and I am so excited because it is going to be my first peacock um, diamond painting so and it's got special diamonds like the big gems so yay super stoked anyway this is not that painting so I just have to chill and focus on this one. And that is not dark at all. I should make that darker. Anyway, it is from this store, factory store. I'll put it in the descriptions. Um, also, I am horrible at remembering, but literally on every single one of my videos, I decided to do it like halfway through and I just every time I sit down at my computer to mess with all of my videos I space it and just still not put links but I plan to go through every single one of them and put the link to the painting in the description box um, I've been wanting to for a very long time like I said halfway through and I've been doing this since February so um, yeah so if you want a painting but you don't see a link say something to me I will get you that link and I am so sorry that I have not been putting the links to the paintings in the description because duh like that's something that you should definitely be doing I should be doing um, but yeah so <clears throat> The shipping and packaging for this painting, I am conflicted because I ordered it July 16th, it shipped July 16th, and then I got it August 6th. So that's 21 days, which is not bad at all coming from AliExpress. Um, especially with the shipping you hardly ever get anything on there that actually ships same day so um, the shipping I am definitely going to give five stars just because it got to me 
pretty fast. Um, the packing, however, I'm super conflicted and maybe you guys can help me decide maybe what you think. I don't know. Because as you can see, it's not in a box. It's in that trash bag material stuff. But they bubble wrap the entire painting and then stuck everything in the middle. Like it's bubble wrap here. Um, it was like this, but obviously I had to open it and check everything out real quick just to make sure everything was there and I didn't have to open a dispute. Um, so yeah, I am conflicted because hate these things. They don't protect your painting whatsoever. I would rather them have boxes, but it's not up to me because they're not my factory. Um, but yet they protected it. Awesome. Like, what? So, yeah. Um, because of the fact that nothing is wrong with the canvas itself, um, at least from what I seen, I just did like a double or a double. I just did like a quick look over. Um, but because I didn't see anything wrong with it at first glance, I think I'm going to give packing five stars just because I don't ever see this. Whenever the painting comes with in these, it's just the actual painting. Like you'll have this wrapped up in this and that's it like if anything laid on that real hard or for a long time or anything like it would just be crushed and your painting would be ruined I can't really say ruined because there's a lot of ways to fix a diamond painting um, but like I've said before you know, we spend a lot of money on stuff like this. Rather it be just diamond paintings or um, if you're into cross stitch. Like, I've been looking at those lately and they are stupid expensive. Like, not only, <clears throat> excuse me, not only do they take so much time to complete but they are pretty expensive um there's one which if you guys are on my facebook you've seen it but there's one cross stitch that i want and somebody um on my facebook one of my diamonds actually found the same picture in a diamond painting so i'm determined to get her as a diamond painting and a cross stitch but she's a belly dancer oh my gosh she is gorgeous and i want her so bad unfortunately the diamond paintings like 22 to 25 dollars i can't quite remember and the cross stitch is 34 dollars and i'm just like Ugh. I really want her, but I don't know if I can bring myself to pay $34 for something that's going to take me a year to do. Whoops. Drop something down there. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. We spent a lot of money on our hobbies, and we don't want them ruined when they get here. So for them to do the bubble wrap job, I am going to give five stars just because that's awesome. Yes, it can still be damaged, but you can't do this well of a job with a box. I take that back. You can. You're just going to have to get a bigger box. So, also, if you guys haven't noticed, I redecorated. All my boxes are gone. I rearranged all of my clothes. So, because my room is super tiny, 
until we move, which is about to be here very soon. And I am super excited because I'm getting my own art room and I'm freaking out. But all of my <clears throat> dresser clothes, which consists of bedtime clothes, um, shorts, skirts, had my husband's basketball shorts and all of our top drawer clothes. I know a lot of people put like socks and undies in top drawer. So yeah, both of our top drawer clothes were on this two shelf bookcase. It worked, but we have so many clothes together that it was just overwhelming with every time we took something out, it, everything would fall. So I was like, whoop, ain't doing this no more. So I moved closets. I took over one of our kids' closets, closet, and then put our dresser clothes in the closet. So yeah. So then I put all of my boxes <clears throat> on the bookshelf, which is just right here beside me. Caddy corner, to me. Um, and my son, bless his heart, I had all of this stuff on a shelf that is in that direction. And he would go and just pull everything off. And I got sick of picking it all up. So I thought I will put it here, that way it's closer to me and I can stop him. Fingers crossed that it works, cause <sighs> he's a boy. So I don't know if it's going to. <clears throat> anyway, back to the painting. The name of this painting was something crazy, like technically it wasn't even a name, it just said diamond painting like four times. So I named it Psychedelic Tie-Dye. It is a 40 by 40 cm, there's 44 colors, the shape of the diamonds are round which is awesome because it's awesome and it sucks all at the same time because when you have round diamonds you still have some of the canvas that's not covered so in the picture of this painting it's one of those pictures that mess with your eyes um, the only thing I can really think of is those one fuzzy pictures where you look at it long enough and then like you'll actually see what it's supposed to be. Um, it's it's kind of like that with the eye perspective, but you can actually see the picture. I can't explain it any better than that. Once I post the video, I always have the picture of the painting as the actual picture of the video so you'll be able to see it on there but I'm hoping that it does the same thing on the diamond painting and I feel like if maybe if it was square and covered the entire canvas it would so fingers crossed that it will do the same on round diamonds but the plus with the round diamonds I can use the pen so it doesn't take me a year to do a diamond painting. And the pasting area is full. So, like I said, this store right here, five stars for shipping, five stars for packaging. And yeah, let's get this show on the road. Okay, I am going to that I'm going to get rid of this and I missed and I got that that was crazy like it went different directions and everything but yet I made that one pen it's got this little thingy on it 
tweezers. Glue. And tray. I've got this something up. Even though I always use these ones, these ones are still nice to have. <clears throat> Five stars for tools, because everything that should be here is here. Mm, knocking stuff over. Oh, there's a stray. the painting on the picture it like the way that the colors are it looks like it is either going in or out um, I guess it's just depending on the person depending on the eyes but I'm really hoping that the can or the diamond painting like once it's all the way done will do the exact same thing as it does with the picture. So, we can only hope. But, let's get started with counting diamonds, since there's 44 of them, which is awesome because They came with bags, too. It looks like quite a bit. I mean, it's it's pretty thick. So, but yeah, we'll five stars that with the tools. Alrighty. Not going to lie, this doesn't seem like all the colors. Like that's it. Yeah, that's all of them. And I don't know. Ugh, I hope so. But we'll see. Well, yeah, maybe. Because a lot of these are like 411713. And it's like that all the way up. Yeah, I've got the most bags for one color is eight bags and then I got like three or four sevens and then the rest of them well there's a six but most of them are from one to four so I should have them all but let's count just in case gonna get these scissors that have like um, kind of like a laser 
that helps you cut straight. And I was going to get them, but then I was like, mm, you know what? Knowing me, I would turn the scissors and then therefore make my line turn. So I still wouldn't be cutting a straight line. But recap. Uh, <clears throat> five for shipping, five stars for packing, five stars for the tools, and five stars for the diamonds. Try to put these in the bags like they do at the shops. If I can count right. With the shops though, like, I know this one did that to where they put the diamonds in um, by the number. So if I would have opened them the right way or took them out of the this bag the right way, I would have just been able to go numbers 1 through 44 and that would have been it <clears throat> but even the way that I did open it it was still super easy so that was awesome Two piles of two started. the twos for now. <laughs> that works so well. Maybe I should start doing that more often. some colors in this. I really can't wait to do this painting. I've been wanting it for a long time actually. I originally fell in love with this <clears throat> picture because of the whole like movement in the picture. And then 
the more I did diamond paintings, the more I fell in love with colors. So then I was like, you know, not only is this painting awesome because if it does what the picture does, it's going to move every time I look at it. I was like, but it's got so many different colors. And I was like, yes. So, and I was right. 44 different colors is quite a lot, actually. Oh my goodness, why can't I get this in there? <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I have had this cough for like, I don't know, two weeks almost? The 16th, I think, will be two weeks. Two or three weeks, but I don't know. It's just, it's not going away. It's getting better, but it's... It got real bad for a second, for a few days, and then it got a little bit better, and then it got a little bit better after that, and then now it's just here. Even with that paper cutting thing, I still did not cut this straight. can draw a straight line. I can't cut one though. Yeah, that'll work. Last paper or last sheet for a paper. Yay! A very, very special friend in my life, a new friend, I might add, bought me not one, but two studio art desks, plus an overhead light, which I'm using right now because my actual light, there's this big glare thing and I hate it, it sucks. So, I thought, might as well use it, and it seems to be doing pretty good. But, I'm like babying my new desks. Anything that gets on them, anything, like right now, I am dying to get this glass clean because I have smudges and everything on this glass and it is driving me nuts but I am keeping everything extreme um but yeah she she is amazing I cannot believe the things that she has done for me she is definitely somebody that I will forever keep close to my heart and do absolutely anything in this world for her. She is truly, truly amazing. Um, I'm not going to say who it is, just out of respect for her, but... She is. She is absolutely 100% the best person in the world. Um, I can't be the only one like this, but on my paintings, if they come with this like frilly stuff all over the edges, I don't know why but it drives me up the wall if I don't cut them off. Like, sometimes um, if I'm making a video and I see them, I will actually succeed at ignoring them 
but then there's other times like now to where I can't ignore them and they got to come off now. So they've got to go. By the way, for those of you that already know the big news that was changed last week, or the big change in my life last week, and my husband's life, was I got to quit my job because he is making more money and he now makes enough money to where he can support everybody on just his job alone and I get to stay home with the baby and the other kids if they're here. Um, last week was my first whole week that I wasn't working and staying home with Jackson. It was amazing. I loved it. Um, I will say that I am already bored. I'm okay boards the wrong word because I'm definitely have enough stuff to keep me preoccupied with um, making the videos for people making time lapses um, doing the product reviews I'm still working on other videos at least I want to work on other videos. I've been really busy trying to get a time lapse done. Um, so all of my free time has been spent between cleaning and working on that video. So, and then with Jackson, he has decided that some days he wants to take a nap and some days he doesn't. And on those some days that he doesn't want to take a nap, he is right there with Mama. So it makes it a bit more difficult to crank out videos like I was originally planning. But okay because I still love being home and I still would not trade it for the world they are only little ones and I don't want to miss it um, so yeah my husband Kevin he loves his new job um, for those of you that don't know he is a warehouse manager and he's got a few people underneath him that he is in charge of everything is super nice and neat to see and way sticky um but yeah he's loving it and we are moving. We wasn't going to move until probably like at least maybe I'll say eight months to a year from now. But life changes and we're looking for a house to buy now. Which is super awesome. I'm super excited because it's our first time buying a house. Either one of us. Look at that. Woo, that's going to be pretty. Oh, I'm excited. That is, that is going to be gorgeous. So much color. Regardless if it's a square or a round. This painting is about to be epic. But yeah, so we're looking for a house to buy now, and I'm super excited about that. Um, somebody is tired. Oh, I keep ripping this paper. Um, but yeah, it's 
so. I'm rooting for my own art room. If I don't get my own art room, I will turn another room or a section of the room into my art space. Because right now I'm in a corner of my bedroom and super, super not space friendly. Claustrophobic. Here is the top of that bad boy. Same as the bottom. Everything is super easy to read. Like I said, it is a square round. Almost saved it. Not very slick though. Um, but yeah. So, that's going on in the life of the Smiths. <clears throat> okay, so, all together for K-A-M-Y-Y-I factory store I will put it in the description along with the link for the actual painting not just the store but yeah so this store I'm giving five stars just because this painting is really good um, even though it came in the trash bag material, they still protected it with this, which I love because that doesn't normally happen. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can roll this and put in there still. But yeah doesn't normally happen that way so I'm actually really excited conflicted but excited to see that um, so yeah the shipping and packing I'm giving five stars the tools giving five stars the diamonds five stars And I am giving um, the canvas five stars. So, shipping, packing, diamonds, tools, oh, canvas, everything is five stars. Meaning that the store is getting five stars. All right. So. That being said, it is the end of the video. Boo. Anyway. So, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Please subscribe. Click the bell so that way you'll get all the notifications whenever I post. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're mean and you don't like it or you want to give spite, thumbs down, whatever. I really don't care um just as long as you subscribe and join our family everybody in my diamond in the sky family everybody in my family are truly diamonds in the sky we'll say it that way because it's just more true that way um everybody's so friendly we all love each other we're all here to help each other nobody fights in my family Nobody puts anybody down. Like, it's truly, truly wonderful. So if you are looking for a family that gets into the same hobbies as you do, please, my family is like that. And we are, we're awesome. We really are. So, click subscribe, join my family. 
click my Facebook. I also have a Facebook group now. Um, I will have to put the link to that in my videos as well. It took me a second to figure that out. I'm horrible when it comes to stuff like that. And I've done it all by myself. So if there's still a problem with it, let me know. And we'll try to fix that. So, yeah. And... Um, I hope everybody has an amazing weekend. I hope you guys have a great and amazing week. I will see each and every one of you guys next weekend. I love you. Thank you for everything. And I will see each and every one of you diamonds very, very soon. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.